My people, Lord, they say that Olori Kalabash, she don't confess why she hated Queen Naomi and have been planning against her starting from the very first day she was married into the palace of Ilei Faking Dom. Hello, hello, my lovely people. You are welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time. How are you doing? I hope you are good. I really appreciate you for being part of my channel. Thank you so much. Please, if you are yet to subscribe, please subscribe. If you are returning subscribe, I thank you. My God will continue to see you through and bless you. So, you know, they see what in there happen. No? You know, they see, oh, hmm. people are seeing how Olori Takalabash is confessing. Confessing all that, she, uh, why she she chose to to betray Kunomi and to plan to buy. In short, what this lady plan is to buy Queen Naomi. But Kunomi's God is so powerful. Yes. Because the prayer, the prayer, depression have cost her a lot. They said that why she started treating Kunomi, how she treated her, especially treating family planning pills in her drinks, then was that she loves Kabi Isi so much. And the Kabi Isi had been Collecting uh, bakers from her. Kabiesi had been carrying her, doing a lot of things. She thought that Kabiesi loved her the way she loved Kabiesi, not knowing that Kabiesi did not love her like that. Now, the thing that got her annoyed and very angry was when uh, Orola left. She thought that Kabiesi is going to marry her, that she, have, she did not have such hatred she had for Konomi for Orolao. But when the hatred that she had for Konomi increased was when Kabi Esi went and married Queen Naomi. And she Konomi came in and Konomi was is Konomi is so beautiful anyway. She was like, is it because of her beauty that made Kabi Esi to marry her? What about her that have been here since? Giving it to Kabi Esi anytime, any day he wants it. So, Kabiyesi cannot appreciate him by at least appreciate her by marrying her. So, she felt like, okay, let me know how Kabiyesi is going to love you. She pushed all her anger on Kon Naomi, as if it's Konomi that caused her the pain. So, my people, according to what we heard, she said that, she said that the major thing that made her to hate Kon Naomi is because she was betrayed to Kabi Isi, betrothed to Kabi Isi, and Kabi Isi left her and went and married Queen Naomi. That she knows how she has been uh, trying all her best to, to show Kabi Isi that he loves Kabi Isi, that Kabi Isi should, should look his way, uh, her way. That the only thing that Kabi Isi does is whenever he needed her, he will call her. She will be warming her his bed. After warming his bed, when it's time for him to get married, he went and married Queen Naomi. Now what she planned for Queen Naomi is that Queen Naomi will not give birth for Kabi Isi. And that is why she started planning, uh, putting family planning pills for Queen Naomi. And uh, uh, she was busy then sleeping with Kabi Isi, thinking that she herself will conceive immediately. So that Kabi Isi will now forget about Queen Naomi completely. Because if you if you notice what happened then, Kabi Isi did not have time for Queen Naomi. That is not as if Kabi Isi intentionally did that. That she was the cause of it. That was that is what she said allegedly. That Kabi Isi's inability to uh, love Queen Naomi, how she, Queen Naomi is supposed to be loved as a newly married wife, it's not it's not Kabi Isi's fault. That she was the one that did it. That she did it. She used, you know, say she be priestess now. She knows what she did so that Kabi Esi will, will dislike with Naomi and uh, face her. But even at that, Kabi Esi will end up not marrying her. That she thought that Kabi Esi, as Kabi Esi disliked Naomi then, Kabi Esi doesn't, doesn't love, love with Naomi, doesn't look at with Naomi. That it KBC will use that opportunity to marry her, but all her plans failed. So, because of 
all the things that she got, all the kayamata she brought and the use on Kabiesi to make Kabiesi love, marry her. Kabiesi uh, uh, did not marry her. That That is her major anger that Kabiesi will be collecting from her. That means she's good at bed, but she's good. she's not good at marriage. That is why she hated Kwenomi so much. That her plan was that Kwenomi should not give birth for Kabiesi. But it, it surprised her the day she heard that Kwenomi was pregnant. And the, Kwenomi even left the palace entirely. So she did not see opportunity again to continue with her evil doing. Maybe to terminate that one because she had been terminating pregnancies from uh, Queen Naomi. And again, Queen Naomi now gave birth and the thing became a boy. So she was like, ah, this woman, that she over over overcome her. So her, her, her major anger is Kabius, that is Kabius that caused everything. Because she told her, she, it was, when Kabius called her and was asking her, why is it that, uh, okay, she was the one that called Kabius and was asking Kabius, why is it that Kabius no longer look at her, what is happening? Uh, Kabiesi told her that for the begin because of uh, you did what you did, you made me hate Queen Naomi. You you caused Queen Naomi to leave my palace. You did this. You did a lot of things that he will never have anything to do with you again. That was when he was he started confessing and telling Kabiesi that you are the cause of everything. You are the reason why she did every bit of what she did to Queen Naomi. And Kabiesi was like, how did I do it? That the, the, she said that the thing that is even giving her more concern, the one that, that is even, as in that is even causing her anger to rise more, is when after Kabiesi married Queen Naomi, and Queen Naomi left the palace, instead of Kabiesi to come and marry her herself, Kabiesi did not still marry her, Kabiesi went and married Dolori Mariam. As if that was not enough, Kabiesi married another person before even marrying her. I think Kabiesi married Igwe before marrying her. That why she, Kabiesi even married her is not because of Kabiesi wants to marry her. It's because of the elders are on him. Some of the evil elders are on him. Pushing him. Marry women so that she will be prepared. Marry women and prepare her to, to let her know that you are the king. You have the right to marry any uh, as number as how many women you want to marry. So that is why Kabiesi even married her. So the thing, that's, that's marriage of a thing. Uh, that Kabiesi did not marry her at first made her so unhappy that she disliked Queen Naomi. She planned both with Queen Naomi's, uh, Kabiesi's sisters, Iyala, Jeudua, and the rest of them, and some of the elders, to, to fire Queen Naomi out of the palace. That is not her fault, though. It's Kabiesi's fault. But now she has realized her mistake. Why is she realizing her mistake? Because she thought that she's going to get pregnant and give birth to a male child for Kabiesi. Kabiesi will now push Queen Naomi away. Since then, have she gotten pregnant? She went to Yamulu, as we heard, to to tell her to give her a baby that she, she needed a child for Kabiesi. What happened? My people, evil, evil doing, you know, they pay. You know, they pay. Anyway, guys, don't forget that all of these are all alleged information. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And tell me what you think about it in the comment section. Give my video a thumbs up. I love you guys. Bye.